Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration, motivation. So if you're interested, <clears throat> please like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10am when I upload a new video. As you can see, I look absolutely rubbish. I've just woken up from a nap because I've got a cracking headache, but I haven't had anything to eat yet, so I'm going to go and sort something out for lunch. Goodness knows what I'm going to have for lunch. But anyway, um, any products I use in my home will be linked on the website, stickymess17.co.uk. And let's try and surface, I suppose. I just feel probably <laughs> just as bad as I look. Anyway, guys, with all that said, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so it's the next day now. Yeah. <laughs> it's the next day now after my... I woke up after that nap and I felt absolutely terrible. She never likes me being on the phone. Anyway. <clears throat> so I've just done the school run and I'm going to sort my breakfast out. If you don't want any nudity, please. Yeah. I'm going to sort <coughs> my breakfast out. What I typically have for breakfast when I do have breakfast. Um, I am, I'll be honest, starting... Oh, Pixie, you got to move, darling. I am, I have started like an NHS um, healthy eating plan. It's not a diet or anything. It's just basically making better choices on my food because I do think that some of the brain swelling has come with <laughs> the hundreds. I, well, should I say, I haven't eaten hundreds, but I've eaten loads. <laughs> I was addicted to these while I was on steroids. Um, they're from Lidl. I don't like the proper brands of them. I like these ones. I don't like the Tesco brands. These are the ones, but I'll be honest, since I've come off the steroids, I'll stop rattling that. Since I've come off the steroids, I haven't actually had a full packet and that's in six months, but I've got them in case I fancy them and I haven't. So, so let me show you what my typical breakfast is. And now big season. <laughs> Bing, get off. Come on, off. Come on, off. Come on.
so generally at this point, if my daughter, if I haven't had breakfast with my daughter and she's gone to breakfast club, then I'll sit down and have my breakfast after the school run. And I'll just put the telly on and this is my little break before I crack on with any admin or paperwork or anything that I've got to do during the course of the day, even my cleaning. So I'll have my breakfast and as you can see, the all three cats are really interested, but um, they don't like the smell of the almond milk. So they generally leave my breakfast alone and I'm just going to sit and finish that and then I'm going to eat my banana and my fruit as well. I do want to apologize about the lighting. I did try to rectify it a few times. You'll see me touch the uh, camera a couple of times to try and get it to focus properly. But it's because it is actually quite bright outside for a change in Wales. And as you can see, when I'm moving, uh, the, the camera just doesn't like it. So I do apologize about the lighting. <laughs> Okay, now this was actually the day that I did the carpet clean. Um, so this is obviously backtracking a couple of days. And my daughter had her breakfast at home. So hence the reason her bowl's there. And it's still pretty yucky outside. Um, so I need to clean the sofas. And I want to clean underneath the sofa because this is where I found the towel that had the cat pee in it. Now, if you haven't seen my carpet clean video, do go check it out. It is really, really satisfying. Um where I cleaned my landing and carpets, my landing carpets and my stair carpets because I smell cat pee. Now, the, the spewy, as we call it, the towel, was underneath the big sofa, between the big sofa and the chair. So I wanted to move the sofa forward, make sure that I cleaned all the stuff underneath it, and I'm going to use antibacterial wipes to clean the floor. And oh my goodness, look at the mess that is collected underneath the sofa. Now, I will be honest, I've taken the bottom off of the sofa, so anything that does fall down the backs will fall onto the floor, so we don't actually lose anything. But then I've got to clean it all up. But it's better than it's been stuck in the sofa. This sofa is so old. I mean, we've had it over six years, five and a half, six years. Um, we paid £40 off a free and cheap site off Facebook. It's done as well. I My daughter climbs all over it. It is absolutely wrecked, but it is so comfortable. And when I get my, you know, ducks in a row, I will replace it. But for the moment, while my daughter's doing handstands and everything else on the sofa, it is staying. <laughs> Now, at this point, I'm very aware that Sally, my robot vacuum cleaner, is running around as well as I've got the Dyson out. But I want to get all the big bits up from underneath the sofa and give it a good vacuum. And I want to mop it quickly. So I'm going to angle the vacuum so Sally can't get underneath it. And I'm going to clean it all up whilst she's busy running around the rest of the downstairs. And then I'm going to use the e-cloth mop to just go over it. And I want to actually give the lounge a good mop as well as I've um, also got the Dyson out so I can get underneath the bits that Sally can't reach. I've cleaned up the area now with the antibacterial wipes where the cat's pee was. Um, I know it rained it up on the towel, but I wanted to clean the floor as well. And I'm using my e-cloth mop, which only uses water to clean. And it does, it's antibacterial to 99%, I believe, um, using just water. So I'm going to clean that. And then I'm also going to move the sofa back and clean the rest of the floor. And as you can see, Sally is still running around. <laughs>
Now that Sally's finished in the lounge and I am busy cleaning up the kitchen and I've mopped the lounge, I want to load the dishwasher, clear my counters, put everything back because this is obviously the couple days after I've done the windows as well. So my kitchen is a bit upside down, but it's not too bad and put things back where they belong. Again, if you haven't checked out my video, I did a collaboration with Cleaning with Thelma. So if you haven't checked out her channel, go and show her some love. Go say hi and be sure to check out the collaboration on my channel with at home with willow that is um coming up very soon so yeah i've got two collaborations that i would love to share their channels and all the description all the details will be in the description box down below oil burner that was gifted to me a fair few years ago um i'm not too keen on them to be honest the one the bulb gets extremely hot two it doesn't give off as much of a smell as an oil diffuser and i get my oil dif oils from uh, amazon or a home bargains so i'm not into mlms and since finding out that sensi is an mlm i will be getting rid of that oil diffuser or should I say the oil burner instead of my oil diffuser? And as you can see, my cats are refusing to get off the counters, but I'm trying so hard to train them not to sit on the counters. Now, Binks is going out. Pixie's not quite yet there. So she likes to sit on that counter where I've just cleaned there and sit and watch her brother out in the garden, uh, which winds me up a bit, but she will learn. And it's just a case of repeatedly telling them no and taking them off the counters. I'm in bed and I'm editing this video so I haven't just figured out I haven't done an outro so I wanted to say thank you to everyone for subscribing I am feeling quite a bit better I have um had the doctor phone me today and give me some information which might explain why I've been feeling so rough but all in all I'm feeling a lot better today so, so any products I use in my home will be linked on my website, stickymess17.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who is supporting me. And I wish you all the best. Look after yourselves, look after those brains, and look after each other. Take care, see you, bye! Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown before the clock runs out.